Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to LA Noir. We are finally going to the next mission. I went back and replayed the other one. Got five stars, but here we go. A slip of the tongue. I'm ready. So, Mikowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Okay. Okay. We're on it, Captain. Let's get over there. I'm ready. Let's get on over there. I swear, there. the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. She pays the rent, though. She is Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passengers are mantra type like control. I don't believe it. We're gonna take a police car this time. Come on, partner. He's like, I'm gonna take my sweet time coming out they're calling her the dahlia now wonder what veronica lake makes of that one what a case you hear whether they're making any progress well, captain donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up brown and green are sweating this manly character i heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week poor thing terrible enough being murdered like that without having her death strewn all over the front pages that's crazy. That is crazy. The Broadway Hollywood. That's the car call. Just pulling out of the drive. Holy. Get hey. Let's get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. Twelve forty. Stop more. Phelps. Requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser. Get over here, seconds. boy. Don't run away from me, boy. Lay into his wheel arches. <clears throat> Come here, boy. Stop running for me, boy. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. I'm trying. Oh my god, I completely missed. I completely missed. Stop running, boy! Get back here! There we go. Oh, boom! I mean that wasn't really necessary, but I did it anyway. Get break out of the car now. Give it up, LAPD. There we go. Give it up, boy. From us. I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. All right, let's take a look at this paperwork. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. It all looks pretty good. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. Okay. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. Nothing on the back here. Order for flight. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. I don't believe you. You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're going to make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because. Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. All right. I believe you. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. 
You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car. If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Saget's possession is evidence. I have him arraigned for grand theft auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? No, and I don't care. Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. All right. Let's head to Coombs Auto. Coombs Automotive Company. One question or one statement. Get your butt in the driver's seat. Can you drive to this one? You're driving. Vicky. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. He just might be. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> oh my God. He just grilled every politician in one sentence. That's funny. Great cars, great prices. Coombs Automotive Company. Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. Oh, God. That's a joke, son. It, it, it wasn't funny. Thing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser. If right, I right. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. He's trying so hard to be funny. That's a joke too. He really son. is. He's trying so hard to be funny. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> He's like, you mind if I shoot this guy? Nah, don't shoot him, buddy. Don't shoot him. Can I sit down? There we go. Richard Koo. Got the original pink slip there too. Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Go ahead and look at the back. Oh, wow. Marquee Printing Company. All right. Trace address for Marquee Printing. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. Okay. This signs a fraudulent activity here, chat. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Description of transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? The girl just wandered in right off the street. Okay. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price is certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. Okay. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Okay. Description of suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Okay. Association with Marquis. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. True. It says Marquis Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquis. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Okay. Check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Coombs? Close of play on Friday. Okay. Wrong. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Suspicious transaction. This was all above board. Yes. Of course it was. Liar. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. 
Oh, come on. Hey, man, it's me if you want my help. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. <laughs> you have a pleasant day, Mr. Coach. No, Pat. Now we ain't gonna shoot him, but we are gonna call in this. Uh... Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Sure. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. Okay. I'll relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. All right. Let's get over to James Velasco. So, um, let's go ahead and check out, let's go ahead and check out first the abandoned lot here. You're behind the wheel. You're behind the wheel. Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? <laughs> or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? That's funny. You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car salesmen. Doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line. Just to get the hell out of here. Probably. All right, let's question Gene ba or James Velasco. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station. All right. See what this Velasco guy has to say. Now we're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the police station first. We're gonna go to the police station first. Then we're gonna um, find Gene Archer, and then we're gonna go to the printing company. We can do this. I believe in our skills. Fun fact: This is the third time I've had to record this video because my power keeps going out. But you know what? It's I. It's I. Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. All right. Let's go ahead and question this this stupid piece of crap. Crummy bastard. Did you call me? James Velasco. I want a lawyer. It's my car. By the way, this is as far as I've gotten. Look for yourself. Let me see your papers. Paper is real enough, Velasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Nothing on the back here. Okay. Still an audio courier. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Greenhorn? The best you can come up with? You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at 10 years, Velasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Association with Archer. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? No. Nope. Never heard of her. You're lying. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. What about the address? So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slip. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? What about the auto theft racket? What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. You're lying. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. 
cars get sold in Chicago or back east, sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Okay. Wrong. An address, Velasco. Oh my, I just my ripped out my headphone cable. Off my bad. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't I know do that. that. You're gonna help me out, Here right? We go. Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. All right. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. Okay. Can you check them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. Thank you. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Phelps, your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Let's get over Less there. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! But you won't hang around. Let's go, partner. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's not going to stop us. We got to get over there. Yeah, get over there before she's gone. Everybody stop your damn cars and move out of Come the on. damn way. Don't lose her. Oh, we ain't gonna lose her. We got this. I do what I can to get this. I watch too much George Lopez. Holy. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. Oh dear. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for Blackmore. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Pretty much. Stolen Kaiser Frazier. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were dumb enough to try to sell one of the cars. What do you think they're going to do to you? Give me something. I was just doing what they do. They pay me 50 bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. You made zero. And if they catch you, you're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. Association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? No, well, I didn't. I'm sure of it. Anyway, I don't know him. You want to sharpen up the light of me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our Bigelow. story... And don't try and sell the car. Yeah, P -O -I, Bigelow. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Tell the truth. I'm trying my patience here, Gene. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. They'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Okay. Now, you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? No, you sure can. We've got a car waiting outside for you. Some career advice. Go. Jim. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. <laughs> Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. There we go. Bye bye.
All right, now we go to the Marquee Printing Company. Let's go to the Marquee Printing Company. See what we can find out. Partner, you're driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I need to go over the case notes. I love the way he says that. She's so, Friendly girl, I don't know. Used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. <laughs> I know that. Why are you You're just not sitting lying here? Or dead inside, are you? Wait, scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting somewhere. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine too. And there's nothing wrong with a good red. <laughs> but I draw the line at gray. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man free with market. high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Last glass of whiskey. Okay, buddy. Buddy, bud, buckaroo. Okay. Here we are at the Marquee Printing Company. Let's get in there. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contracts to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. Really? So keep it in mind. Really? We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? I don't believe you. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. You liar. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Give it to me now. Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. All right, let's see what there is to say. Look for patterns. Occurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Huh? Here. Okay. Watch me pick a random name and it work. Ready? You certainly encourage to keep business, light bulb. This Mr. Big I wasn't even paying attention. Customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Alright. Let's get over to let's get over to that warehouse. Let's get Mr. Bigelow. You know the way. You can drive. Let's get to that warehouse, baby boys and baby girls. Seniors and CNETs. No, CNETs? That doesn't work. A woman senior is still a senior. She's not a CNET because she's a woman, right? No, it's just seniors across men and women. All right. Marines were gung ho, Cole. 
You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Give me a few seconds to get around there. All right. We're going to go in guns and blazing. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Peek it. Peek it. I have to reload. Oh my god, I had to reload. How long do you think you can hold out? Got you. Peek it. I need cover. I didn't mean to do that. Find some cover. Peek it again, you won't. Something. Get out of cover, Phelps. Get in there. Boom. Right, right. Don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. All right, let's see what's going on here. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. slip looks like mr Lightball has been on a losing streak all right Let's see what's going on here there are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till christmas we've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door bigelow you're in this up to your neck but i don't think you're the man in charge make it easier on yourself give him up I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about Marquee Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem with that. Really? There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Light ball. The guy who runs Marquee. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes me. Okay. Association with light ball. Light ball. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One well, of the guys lying over there. What you lying ass? You're right. There's no luck. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, would I lie to you, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Really? Where is it at? Delivery ledger. Gordon Lightball owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. He has these big government contracts. He's in Hawk over 20 grand. Feds find out. Contracts will be all over. Light bulb plays ball. Here we right, go. Bigelow, the heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. Here we go. We're getting to work, chat. If you guys don't know how I'm getting all the answers right, if you guys see me glance down, it's because I have a full guide of this game on my phone. Because I just want to have fun and enjoy the story. I don't want to have to worry about getting these questions right. I know that sounds kind of bull crappy but i'm serious um 
I just want to have fun and enjoy the story. And, you know, get it, the questions are literally half the story. So, um, I have an entire guide on my phone just of these answers that uh, I put in. So, I mean, I, I guess it's technically cheating, but who gives a crap? It's a video it's a game. Game. I ain't hurting nobody, you know? And, you know, if, if you say I'm hurting the experience of the game, it's just because you haven't seen the game yet. So, I recommend I'm you watch the full playthrough. Oh, it's going to take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, they shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the bare-faced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and then pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings him down. Yep. Let's go get Gordon Lightball. Because we're just the freaking best. You feel me? We're just the best. We're the greatest at the game, and we know what we're doing. Marky Printing Company. Let's get him. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Okay. Save it, Lightbulb. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Got it. Let's see, where is it at? Um, betting slips. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. You're under arrest. Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Let's go. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? Let's go! Show me that five star, baby. Now, like I said, my power did go out the first two times I tried to film this. So this is a replay of that mission. But let's see what we got here. Five star, baby. Five freaking star. We have five starred all of them so far, whether it's on the first attempt or the third attempt like this one. We have pretty much done five star on everything. So now let's time to head into the next mission. We, uh, like I said, um, you know, I had to replay this one a few times because my power kept going out. But it is what it is. Now we can go ahead and resume because here we are. So the fallen idol. Here we freaking go. I'm ready. I wonder how fast I can go get a drink. My family runs a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week to Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. These men are counting on us. You hear what the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting.
You see, while I was doing that, my food was also ready. So, uh, yeah, I had to grab my food. And now I missed something. So, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How is that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bit you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive. Oh, wow. Escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Holy. I'm doing, boys. We got bad guys to catch. All right. Straight well. through the red light. Bet you never saw it. Let's get across the goddamn later, street. Fellas. Try not to work too hard. Look at you, Bantam and Shirley. Just a tear to my eye watching that caterpillar kill a woman. I'm just trying to fit in. Educated, hardworking, straight as an arrow. So it is right, it's literally right up there. Wait, is this our car? This is, this is our car. I keep taking the cop car for some reason. You're behind the wheel. Yeah, drive, damn it. Holy. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Okay. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. She was knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. Should be all right. They're taking her to Central Receiving. If you want to take a look around, Call the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. Got it. The first thing I'm gonna do is use my intuition to show all the clues. Can I do that? I know I can't. I can't die. Okay, let's go talk to her first. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on here. Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Damn. So keep out of this. Shut down. Doping allegation. Whatever that means. We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. You lie. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. And don't bother your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement... You just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. I don't think so. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. Trust him on it? And this is where I end up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the crash site real fast. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. 
Oh, wait, I gotta Let's get go down there somehow. Let me see. Can I just go over here? Yeah, I can. So wait. How the hell do I get down there? Oh wait, it's over there. I didn't even have to go all the way over there. It's just literally over this way. How do I make him sprint? You'll want to see this, Phelps. It's there, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Let's see what's going on here. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Let's see what's going on. Letter from mother. She's a long way from home. All right. Is that it? That's all we can look at in the purse? Yeah, that is. Good. License plate. If again. Take a look in the car. Oh, shoot. Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. Must have been unconscious. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Yeah. Take a look at the other side. Okay, same thing. Take a look at the front. Nope, same thing. Same thing. All right, can I go ahead and use an intuition point to show the clues? I feel like I'm missing some. Oh, I literally got all of them. Okay, never mind. That thing on the map. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. What the? <clears throat> Is it real? <laughs> no. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian trunk and head. It's some kind of curio or movie <coughs> prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? <coughs> Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Oh, Whoever shoot. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Okay. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. All right, let's go talk to her. Cause yeah, she might not be telling us the whole story. Buddy, you can run a little bit faster, please and thank you. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? I think you're lying. I think you're lying, Mrs. McCaffrey. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Actually, I do. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. Door. Sure. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Liar. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mrs. McCaffrey, 
I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics. and You're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. Thank you. I think okay. we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. All right. Any of you, Jessica Hamilton. Central Receiving Hospital. All right, so let's go ahead and mark that into our book. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and mark that into our book. Central Receiving Hospital. Set his destination. Get your butt in the driver's seat now. With the immediate effect. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Dude, I need to go over the case notes, you dickhead. All right, we're going to question her. See what she knows and what she's willing to tell us. Your footsteps are loud as hell, holy. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yeah. She's in the room right behind me, Detective. Thank you. You can't hold me here. No. Feeling I better since this morning, Jessica? By a doctor. I need a my lawyer. My head Detective, still feels strange. Where is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Take a look around. I doubt it. <laughs> He's like, I doubt it. Evidence of abuse, huh? Glad we took a look around before we talked to her. Anything else here? I think so. Let's talk to her. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. Crash incident report. Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. You're lying, and I can tell. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. What about your underwear? We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I, I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did oh, wow. she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Contact with parents. We need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry then. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. You're lying, Jessica. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? We found a letter from your mommy. Wait, where is it? There it is. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Now, do you want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Hmm. Association with Bishop. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. 
and that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Just try. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie? You clue too? mermaid. <laughs> no, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. Thank you, Jessica. All right. It's been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? You still care about the part? Surely. It's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. All right, so follow her without being noticed. Hail Junro, the tail suspect from a safe distance, suspect is marked in red. All right. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. I know how to drive, damn it. I was saying that because I ran the red light. Get a little bit farther back from her. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Catch up a little bit. Can't wait for this traffic. Get in there and see what she's up to. Sure. the cafe without being seen. No, I don't want him taught a lesson. You know what I want. Holy. Well, then make someone else do it. You still know people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. clear about this. You get this done or I'm Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Okay. Sure, I got the film. Bishop's apartment. Time to go, Phelps. Investigate Bishop's apartment. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. True. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his dog around there. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? 
I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Holy. Oh my god. Everybody please move. Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do that for me? I'm gonna have to turn on the siren for this. Why am I even driving to this location? I don't even know why I'm driving to this location. Well, Ballard was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? We're almost there though. This is the only time you're ever gonna see me drive, by the way. No, we're good. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's apartment hotel. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not driving. I'm not driving all this way. I'm done. I'm not driving all this way. You're driving. Can you drive to this one? I'm done. I drove a few blocks. What's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh, shit. You better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McAfee's wife in the first place. Or he'd have done the job properly. McAfee will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad the wrong way. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's apartment hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K code 3, all other units code 2. KGPL clear. Roger, KGPL. 11K en route. Um, are you going to drive or what? Why are you going slower? Step on it. Guess not. in my eye here we go I'm detective Phelps we received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803 oh thank you detectives listen mrs. Bishop's pretty upset uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor it's the last door on the right take the elevator left on the corridor last door on the right okay Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Here we go. Let's go on the right. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs. Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please. Come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. All right. Let's go ahead with about the intuition point. Show all clues. Gay Cowboys to Mark Bishop. Presented to Mark. Okay. Another clue in here. $20,000 check. What do you have to do to earn $20,000? And now the rest of them seem to be out here. Wait. There's one right here. Okay. This isn't what we're looking for. So why is it marked as a clue? Doesn't give me anything to go on. I see. Wait, there's something in here. Okay, there we go. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Okay. The last couple of clues I believe are out here. Yeah. 
like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's job. I don't think this is anything. Why is this marked as a clue? I don't understand. It doesn't appear to be connected. Okay. There's one more clue someplace. Wait. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Where's this last clue at? Is it in here or is it out there? I can't really tell. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Doesn't look like anything. Really? Doesn't tell me anything. Arr. Is that it? it? Still says there's one clue. Oh, right here, my stupid self. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Okay. Nice. All right, I think we can question her now. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. I don't really believe that. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Okay, whereabouts of Bishop? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Okay. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Except for 20K. Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. You suggest Hamilton. Your husband Hamilton. was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. I don't believe you. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. That's disgusting. And you think that's okay? I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. Holy, but he's a My monster. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. That's crazy. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. Let's go. I got a tuition This point. is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. All right, then. Use the telephone. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? No, 
I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right, well, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of here. An aging movie star, a wannabe star, a producer wife. They're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost famous. <laughs> That's and funny. From the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Let's head to, I didn't mean to do that. Let's head to locations, silver screen props. That is destination. All right, you're driving, bud. You know the way, you can drive. All right, saving. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are watching, enjoy, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.